How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Prison Architect Going Green. I certainly hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back as always. We have a bit of a pickle going on up here. So, this fella's been beaten unconscious and is going into solitary for a couple of hours. You are in lockdown for destroying some things. And generally speaking, my prisoners want two things. They want, well, they want to see their family and they want drugs. I can accommodate one of those. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accommodate the drugs, but I can certainly accommodate the family and I certainly want to get visitation in here. But the way I see it is that we're gonna need to create some kind of entrance down here that's gonna feed through to a visitation room here. And I'm not 100% sure what way I want to do that yet, because I feel, well, to be honest, I feel like it would mean I have to move all of this, and that seems like it's going to be a complete pain in the butt, so we might have to completely redo the uh, utilities that we have here in the, uh, in the prison. I know I've talked about that before, but that's something we're probably going to need to do. What I also want to do is I want to start sorting out classrooms here, so... Let's go ahead and get ourselves a few things. We need an office desk. I can hear some staff getting attacked over there. Uh, we'll pause the game while I just build this. We'll get an office desk, and we are going to need some school desks. And I'm not really too concerned about, you know, getting as many students into the classroom as, as is possible. That's not a huge uh, deal for me. So we'll put that in there. I don't think we need the... Uh, blackboard, but it's certainly going to help. Uh, let's see. Hold on a minute. Water cooler is actually good for classrooms as well. Okay, so let's put a water cooler into the, uh, into the classroom. That seems like a fantastic idea. Then in terms of lights, we could do a couple of lights there and there, and probably there as well. And that'll be good. And, uh, we'll get that built and we'll duplicate it down into the other rooms. Now, there is a bit of a pickle over here. This guy has shears, and he is probably gonna kill my guard, I would imagine. We probably don't want to just sit and watch this. Why am I not sending guards over here? Let's get everybody over this way before that guard's killed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, he's not- he's not dead. Which is good. So no one died. That's fantastic. Alright. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and figure out this situation. I think, to be totally honest, what I'd be really tempted to do is move all my utilities across the road. But, I guess what we could also do is... Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's go to planning. So let's go to planning and let's figure out a couple of things here. Because what I reckon we could do is we could build a whole nother section of prison here, right? So say we have all of that space. We can go in and we can go a little bit away from the walls and we can do something like this. And then we can do the same on the, uh, the top section as well. So we go something like this. And then what I'm wondering is how can I split this up into cells? So I can do there, and I can do there, and I can do there, and I can do there. Can I get this to work evenly? No. So we're going to have an uneven sort of number in the middle there. So we're going to cut that out. And uh, essentially, we're going to try and do sort of the same thing over on this side. So we'll put uh, some cells in there. And then the cells themselves are one, two, three. So we want to go one, two, three, and wall. So wall there. And, uh, cut there. Wall there, and cut there. And it doesn't really work out. Not the way I would want it to. So, one, two, three, wall. We could do this kind of thing. That actually isn't too bad, think about it. Gives us a couple of cells here that can have doors on the bottom side, so they aren't doors out onto that bit. And, uh, you know, gives us a decent number of new cells. I am completely on board with this. So, let's go ahead and, what distance is this? Three, so one, two, three, and across. We'll do this. Uh, we'll do this. One, two, three, four. Are those too big? Are these different si- Oh, they are gonna be different sizes, aren't they? Okay, so that actually needs to be here. 
This all needs to go away. This needs to be here. And then I think we're pretty much good for the sizes. I'm going to have to just redo this upper part because reasons, basically. Uh, I think this is supposed to be here. So like that. And that'll give us a good number of cells. Because what I can do is I can go in and say doors there and doors there. So the uh, the whole way around. We could do, we could probably do like a nice secure section here in the middle. So that's going to be super duper secure. Which seems good by me. Uh, and then we could arguably kind of do the same the whole way through here. We'd probably want to automate so much of this though. But my thinking would be we put some doors down there. We put some doors up there. We'd obviously have some doors here. And that's going to give us a bunch more cells. So that's going to be good to bring more people in. Uh, visitation, I think I want to change a bit to be more vertical than anything else. So it's going to be more like this. Uh, not necessarily this size, but you get the idea. And if I remember right, uh, visitor, I want to use visitor booths, and they are two by two. So the way we could plan this is objects, we'll give a little bit of room for people coming in. So one, two, three, four... And that'll be fine. So two by two. And we essentially just place a bunch of these. You know, doing a bunch of two by twos here. The uh, the entire way down. Until I can go no further. And that fits perfectly. So that's fantastic. This whole bit can be taken out. We can go one, two, three, four, and straight down. And then essentially we just throw some doors there. We throw some doors there. We probably just want to secure this corridor completely uh, just to stop, you know, anything from getting through. We'd also probably want to put some metal detectors in there. But as far as visitation goes, I think that's fine. I think that's a perfectly fine way to do it. We have a bunch of booths down here. We can put some benches in. We can make it a relatively pleasant room if a little bit of a, a, a weird one. And then we could probably go ahead and make sort of a yard down here for all of our utilities. So if I go ahead and essentially say, you know, whatever size this is, we have that. We can put some solar panels in there. We can put uh, wind turbines in there. We'll probably turn that into a corridor with uh, a door there and some doors there. And that'll be fine. So that gets the utilities out of the way. Uh, and in terms of getting visitors in here, we're essentially going to have a wall... Or a corridor like this. With uh, some doors there, some doors there. And, uh, I mean, arguably we could go even further than that and have the corridor sort of come up and around. Which I don't really hate the idea of. Seems a little bit excessive, though. But, well, my only thinking with this is that technically prisoners are allowed down here. Maybe we should move the infirmary door to be up here. And then we turn this all into sort of a visitor and staff only area. That might not be a terrible idea. But regardless, we could just put an extra door in the middle there, make it harder for them to get out, make it, you know, exceptionally secure. Either way, that's kind of what my plan would be. So visitors come in here. Uh, they aren't allowed to go that way because that's, ah, you see, that's classrooms. Visitors and prisoners are sort of going to be ever so slightly... You know, going past each other. I don't know if I like that. What if we did this a different way? What if we did something like this? We have this corridor sort of come down. So take out those bits of planning. Take out those bits of planning. Take out that. Uh, we can maybe do doors. I don't really know for sure. Um, but essentially we could have guests come in here, go down and answer the visitation from the bottom. That might be a better idea, because what that means is we're not going to have any overlap in prisoners and visitors. Visitors come in down here, they go out the same way. Prisoners never go into the same corridor as visitors. That seems like it would be good. And I think what we can do is make this just a little bit of a secure checkpoint there. So this corridor will come down into a yard where we put our, you know, green energy... Uh, this corridor has the potential of going up that way, but it's never really going to. And what I think I can also do is deployment and say staff only down here, for example. 
So uh, that'll help a little bit. And uh, that'll be fine. So, <laughs> sure. Let's go ahead and start working on... Well, I guess we'll start working on the foundations for visitation. Uh, so this bit... We can start building that. And uh, we'll put the door on it eventually. Uh, we're also working on the classroom still, but then uh, I guess what we could also do is walls. And we could probably do... I'm think I, I want to do fences. I really do, but I feel like it would make more sense to not do fences. I'm going to be honest. I feel like walls just kind of make sense. So we'll do some brick walls down here. And then that'll be foundation in there. So we can probably go ahead and get that built too. So uh, brick foundation just there. And then we can sort of build the rest of it later. So that's fine by me. I think what I will do as well is just a bit of a brick wall here. And then, again, the rest of it we can deal with a bit later on. Um, final little step, though, would probably be... I don't know, paving stones out here? Or concrete floors or tiles or whatever out here? Uh, sandstone seems a little bit expensive. Stone wouldn't be bad, I suppose. Do a bit of stone out here. So we'll just put that down to get rid of all those trays. So that's going to be a lot of construction needing done. I think what we could probably afford to do is get ourselves a few more workmen. So let's go to 25. How many guards do we have? 20. That's fine. Uh, so we'll go up and get a few more workmen there. And we'll start working towards getting this all built. And hopefully it'll be fantastic. Uh, now what's going on here? You are going to solitary for a while. You know what might be a good idea? As much as the prisoners are complaining about uh, policy and whatnot... I feel like, um, let's see, if you destroy something, you're not going to get searched. Well, you will. You'll get searched, your cell won't. If you attempt to escape, you're going to solitary for six hours. Maybe a little bit harsh. I don't really care. We're also going to search you and your cell. If you attack a prisoner... It's going to be... You know what? Escape attempts are going to be much higher than that. Um, let's do, I don't know, 24 hours. Just to be like, you know, hey, you got it good. What you're trying to escape from, you got it good right now. Uh, if you attack a prisoner, it's going to be solitary for... 8 hours. If you attack staff, it's going to be solitary for 12 hours. Serious injury is solitary for... I don't know, eight hours. Intoxication, eh, we'll search everything for sure on that. And we'll do lockdown, I think. That's probably a little bit better for six hours. Murder is definitely going to be solitary for, I think, probably about a day is best on that. Uh, finding weapons is going to be a search. Find, finding tools is going to be solitary as well. Finding drugs, same thing. Produce narcotics, same thing. Finding luxuries is going to be a search with a, uh, I don't know, one-hour lockdown. That seems fine. That, that's, that seems fine by me. Now, farming policy. Interesting. Continuous fertilizer. Interesting. Farm search frequency. Let's do daily and search everything. That seems like a good idea. I am curious about the continuous fertilizer, though, because I think what that means is I can technically go ahead... Oh, we're harvesting things! Oh, that makes me so happy right now. Oh, that makes me so happy right now. Okay. All right, well, we'll search everything down here for the time being. Eventually, some of this, I guess, will get moved. I don't know what all the... The, the clanking noises. I've got no idea on that. But whatever. I'm actually really happy about this. I hope we end up with some pretty good exports from all of this as well. I really, really do. That would be, uh, that'd be so good. Uh, now why... Okay, so this still needs an office desk. Let's prioritize working on the classroom. Let's, let's prioritize doing that. And, uh, you know what else we should probably work on thinking about it more offices which i guess we can technically do 
when we go ahead and move all of this away. We can kind of bring the staff area down a little bit. Uh, which means that corridor might need changed a little bit. So let's go into planning and let's figure it out. Uh, so let's say this all moves away. We'll continue the corridor down. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. We'll turn that into another office, uh, which is a what? Six by six, if I remember right. So uh, something like that. Then something like that. And uh, I think what we could also do is, I guess, do a few more offices like this. I think bring them down. So something like that. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and say we can have a nice sort of big staff room there. So a bit bigger than what we have right now. And I think that will be a good call. Because then we can go ahead and do another office there. And we can do another office there. But then it leaves this weird space, so maybe we don't do that. Maybe what we do is that, and that, and does, well, I, I don't know what this room can be here. Wait, what do you mean a death? Who died? Oh, for God's sake. Of course, of course they killed a guard. Of course they killed a guard. All right, fantastic, because of course they killed a guard. All right. Um, well, that's going to give us a few, <laughs> few offices in there, I guess. And uh, I guess what we can also do is sort of bring some space over this way. And uh, so we have this yard here. What way do I want to do this? Maybe we don't need that many offices. Maybe we don't need this last one. So we bring this over. And this corridor is still very much needed. So I think it comes out and kind of around like this. And I think we will just sort of bring it up to about here. So it's a very, very long way in. But I'm kind of okay with that. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of okay with that. It just seems like it would be for the best. We have this awkward kind of open space here. I'm not really too sure what to do with it. So maybe some of these offices can kind of get moved down like this. And we'll just make it a bit more of an interesting looking area. Alternatively, I could just get another office in there, so something like that, and then something like that. One, two, three, four. So that's five. That's not the end of the world if one of the offices is a little bit bigger than the others. Uh, so that can be a staff room there. In terms of doors, what we'll do is office doors. Uh, where are the office doors? They're on the left side, so there. So the, uh, the office doors go uh, there, there, and I guess there. And then there and there as well, as well as there. And for the staff room, I'm kind of inclined to just put the door here, I guess. So they come down and into the staff room, and that should be fine. And that seems like a good little expansion, I reckon. So we'll get some doors up there. We'll get some doors on the corners as well. And I think that'll be a good change. Oh, my God. Another guard's dad. Okay. You know what we might need to do? We might... <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. I need every guard over here that's available right now. Okay. Four guards have died today. Six, seven. Oh, sweet Jesus. What the hell? You know, I think this might be necessary. Didn't expect this. To, uh, okay. Ten guards are dead. I don't think it's just guards, but regardless, 11 people are dead. Okay, 12 are dead. Hi, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got nothing. I <laughs> got, I've got nothing right now. And also the emergency, oh my God. Oh my god. Okay. We legitimately just lost 12 guards. Um, I'm gonna hire more. They're up to 30 now. That seems like a pretty good way to be. Um, right. Right. Well, I've got... i got nothing. I've got nothing right now. Um... Legit, I've, I got nothing. I got, 
I think we might need a little bit of a... Uh, might need a bit more of a guard presence down. Maybe armed guards or something we're going to need sooner than later. Um, interesting. I, this is... Wow. Well, okay. Do we have... Uh, do we have metal detectors right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, a machine for delivery areas and storage rooms to scan wooden crates for contraband must be wired to a scanner monitor for a guard to spot contraband. A guard's ability to spot contraband will depend on their tiredness. Interesting. Interesting. So, I like that. I like that we can t we can set up a system to scan everything that comes into storage areas. Um, I'll tell you what we should probably do. We should probably fast track getting another office so we can get a free ten thousand dollars. That seems like it would be a, a great idea. I'll be honest, that seems like it would be amazing to do right now. But regardless, um, I'll tell you what we will do: quick build, clone, grab this classroom. It's not actually crazy expensive to do this either, which is lovely. Uh, rooms, classroom. We'll get one down here. Oh, we've got okay. So that'll be fine. Then in terms of doors, we'll just do a nice, simple, regular door on uh, each of those. And I do feel like we should probably, like I said, prioritize a little bit of uh, security and whatnot. Uh, let's also prioritize all of that. Just to see if we can start moving. Oh my god, are they fighting again? Yeah, they're fighting again. Alright. Okay. Well, that's good. Tell you what we'll also do. Let me go ahead and just Oh, I can't prioritize anything in the pantry. All right. What about exports? Can I prioritize? I can sort of prioritize exports. That's fine. All right. Well, hopefully, we're actually going to see, you know, gradually some good things happen. I'm hoping that visitation will cheer up the prisoners a little bit. I'm hoping that the addition of new cells eventually will cheer up the prisoners a little bit. I uh, slightly have my doubts. Although that might just be a bit of a bias, considering that they killed, you know, 12 of my guards! You know, that, 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 that would, that does probably, you know, skew my opinion of the prisoners just a little bit. A little bit. Teeny tiny little bit. Um, now, do I, I do not have lights in front of all of these cells. I do want to fix that, because that was something that I was kind of adamant about doing. Because it will light up the corridor really, really nicely. Got some lights in that corner as well. Got some lights in that corner. And uh, we got lights in the corridors over there as well. So that's fine. We'll get those installed in due time. The classrooms will be done in uh, due time as well. I'll tell you what we could probably prioritize is getting visitation itself done. That's probably not a terrible idea. In fact, you know what? Honestly... Prioritize everything needing done in this little space down here. Because if we can do that, we can start moving the power into this area. And uh, we can start working on the new staff room, the more offices. Actually getting the corridor for visitation here. Let me also have a look, though, at bureaucracy. Because do we not have... Do we not have metal detectors? Or was I... Did I look in the wrong... I might have looked in the wrong place for it. Uh, metal detectors, that's what I'm, wait, metal barrel. Okay, I guess it's decorative, but it, to me it's a red barrel, and red barrels in video games are explosive. So that's interesting. Um, I'll tell you what we could do, though. Let's go ahead and start setting up some metal detectors. I think that's, that's probably not a terrible idea. Uh, so we'll set, uh, these are going to be expensive. That's my only thinking, is these are going to be expensive. But we can set them there. Meaning anybody going to and from these cells is going to be checked. And uh, we could probably do with setting them up in here as well. So let's do that. Because I can. And uh, let's set up, I guess... I kind of like the idea of the barred walls. I think that's going to look mean. So we'll do some barred walls there. Uh, so anybody going in and out of the farms is going to be getting checked. We could probably do similar over there as well. We're not really going to bother doing that. Uh, definitely going to be want to going to want to be checking. Going to be wanna. What was I trying to say there? Definitely going to wanna. That's what I was trying to say. 
Uh, check people going in and out of uh, visitation. So we'll take out the plans there. Or rather, we won't. We'll just do this. We'll sort of put metal detectors on each side of uh, visitation there. And that should be fine. And then I guess we're also going to want to... I need to stop saying going to want to. Anyway, we're going to do them there as well. And we'll get those all hooked up in good time. And I think my plan will probably be to station guards. Probably maybe two guards per metal detector or something like that. Uh, but regardless, it's going to be a way to stop people from, you know, getting things out of here, for example. Uh, let's see. To do Move tomato to vegetable allotment. Haven't we already done that? Plant crop and vegetable allotment. Uh, huh. Why is none of, is none of this getting moved because that's for guards to do? Or I really have no idea. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually... Genuinely got no idea. Uh, so logistics, crop distribution. So you are supposed to be going to the pantry, which is then supposed to be going to there. Also supposed to be going to exports, but seems like, uh, huh. Seems like nothing's really getting done there. Maybe that's just because my workmen are terrible or, well, really, I've got no idea. Looks like a lot of them want to rest as well, which is probably fair enough. So... Hopefully that kind of gets... Oh, we just got more prisoners. We got six new prisoners. Why did we get... S I guess some prisoners probably died as well, huh? Yeah, that would, that, would, that would certainly be a reason that we might, you know, be in a situation where we would get a bunch of new prisoners. I suppose. Uh, I'll tell you what we will do. Let's go to deployment here. And uh, during the day, I want to say two guards in uh, each of these classrooms... I think that's going to be kind of important. I want a patrol that goes like that. And I want a blue patrol that does kind of the same thing. So we'll go ahead and assign a guard. We'll assign a couple of guards to each of these. Because we might have a lot of people go, uh, coming and going here. And uh, I think what we could also do... Ooh, what we could absolutely also do, actually, is bring the magenta patrol around like this and sort of have them poke their head into visitation from time to time just a little bit just to make sure everything's okay and uh, we'll assign an extra couple of guards to that and then on the blue patrol it can sort of come down uh, and it can check out you know what's going on with the guests a little bit so we'll just assign a couple of extra guards to that too and then during the day, we'll also have guards actually actually assigned to the visitation room itself. So it's not like the guards are just occasionally going to poke their head in to make sure everything's okay. That's not exactly how I plan on that working. Also, wasn't really wanting them to get rid of all those walls, but sure. Uh, let's go ahead and put those back in because they're ever so slightly essential. So uh, let's let's prioritize that work. Let's also prioritize the metal detectors and... You know, I'll just prioritize kind of everything down here right now. So prioritize just everything going on. Uh, we'll go ahead to objects and, uh, or sorry, doors. And we'll do a nice large sort of double, uh, the trees need to go. Okay. We, you know, we probably need to get rid of the trees down here as well. So flooring, stone, it is, uh, it's outdoor only. So if I just drag over like this. Oh, it's already being done. I just need to get rid of the trees. All right. Uh, dismantle tree and dismantle tree. And prioritize, please. Oh, they can't get in there. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Uh, all right. So, let me try and remember what I needed to do here. Doors. So, let's do a double visitor door there. Let's do a double visitor door there. A double staff door. Oh, not like that. Uh, there and there. And a double visitor door there. So that will sort everything out there. I might just do a regular double door up here, thinking about it. Uh, so just a re Well, I can't do it right now because the tree's in the way. But when the tree's gone, I think a regular double door there would probably just be fine. I really do. I don't think there's any need to go too crazy with it. Um, although these down here... Definitely need to be prioritized so we can let people in and out of these areas. What the hell was going on there? It was, oh, one of the inmates overdosed. Okay, that's fine. 
so yeah, we'll get this area down here done. We'll get guards assigned to it all nice-like. Uh, this tree, let's just try and dump it as quick as we can. I don't care what happens to it. I just want it out of my building. There we go. Uh, so walls, doors, uh, regular double door is fine. But then outside of that is going to be a large jail door, which, uh, oh, it's metal detectors there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so back to this, we'll do large jail doors, uh, here. And we'll do them sort of on the corners as well. Not there. Uh, there. We have one there. We'll get one here. And that will be fine. Okay. This is starting to get kind of interesting. Definitely starting to get kind of interesting. I'm not 100%. Oh. Well, that would explain where all my workmen are. Um, you know what? <laughs> you know what might be an idea? Um, I think at all times, it might be worth stationing a guard just in that area. I gotta be honest. I think it might, might be a worthwhile venture. So we'll get a guard in there. And I think, honestly, we'll kind of do the same for reception, too. Uh, just because, you know, doors are kind of a pain. So we'll get that going, and that'll hopefully stop this from happening. Uh, there we go. So they're all able to kind of get through and do their thing and go, Oh, what do you mean? Another death? No! Why? For God's sake! Ah! All right. I'm putting more guards in there. <laughs> I can't believe I need to do this. Um, <laughs> I guess there's only two guards. Anyone? What was, I, what was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking? Okay, a couple more guards might be uh, might be kind of necessary here, uh, just to alleviate a little bit of the death. You know, just a, just a little bit of the death. Let's get a little bit of that gone. Uh, now. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't. I cannot believe this. Absolutely cannot believe this. It's ridiculous. It's genuinely absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the levels of contraband in the prison are out of control. You know what's probably also out of control? The amount of death in the prison is probably out of control. All right. If anything's out of control, it's my prison, and I'll tell you what's out of control. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I genuinely can't believe this. I really, really can't believe all of this nonsense right now. Um, okay. Can we... So this yard has been cleared up, which is lovely. Let's go ahead and start looking at a few things. So I want to get myself a transformer. Which... For some reason, I'm I was blind to for a second there. Uh, so where does this have to be placed? So I can't put it here right now because I guess there's trees in the. Oh my god, not again! One of my guards was in trouble there. Um, I guess I can't put it in there right now because there's trees slightly in the way. There's probably these tree stumps need to go as well. Uh, so let's just go through and try and clear all of these out. Which is going to be kind of a pain. Can I just use... Dump? Is there a dump object? Uh, dump object. Is that is that something I can do? Yeah. So that's going to get rid of some stuff that I can export. But I'm not hugely worried about all of that. Uh, so prioritize all of that. And let's see if we can... There we go. Clean up that entire space. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so does that now mean that I can put a transformer in here? It does. Uh, so what I think we do is we put a transformer, say, here. That's probably not a terrible spot for it. Uh, so transformer goes there. Obviously kind of expensive. The batteries are kind of expensive too. But can I... I can move these, which is kind of exciting. So my thinking would be that we do this, and I'll go and buy another one. They're 5,000, which is pretty expensive, but I'll buy another one. Um... And we'll essentially kind of hope that this works in my favor, is, is kind of what I'm hoping for here. Uh, so that's getting installed down. Oh my god, my guards are fighting again. Good lord. Good lord. 
All right. You know what we probably need during sleep time is, uh, honestly, more guards, I think. Might be uh, a little bit necessary during sleep time just to make sure that everything stays under control up here. Uh, was that during the day? That was during the day. Okay, we don't need that many during the day. Uh, at nap time, we definitely need more than four. So we'll do that. And that'll probably... Actually, we probably do need a little bit more during the day, so we'll do that as well. Uh, so there we go. Bunch more guards assigned to that. Beautiful. Uh, this is all working kind of nicely too. And we just ran out of power. Oh boy. So... Oh my god. What do you mean one death? To, what do you mean? Oh, he... What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Um... Now what do you mean another one? What do you mean? Oh, for God. Okay. This is... This is... This is not going well. This is... <laughs> this is not... Not going, uh, not going well, um, is, is how I describe this. Definitely could be going better, I think is, uh, another way to potentially describe all of this. Um, let's get these power lines in here. I don't think I can connect everything together because I think these are technically different, uh, these are technically different sort of lines. That one's sort of a, that shade of green, that one's that shade of green, so... We're not going to be doing too much with that. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to get batteries around this transformer. And I would like to get another another solar wind hybrid right there. I can't afford another one. But I do wonder, can I prioritize exports and maybe get a little bit of cheeky money there so I can afford another one? Because if I can, that would be kind of beautiful. We're also totally going to need to move the uh, water pumping station, which is absolutely part of the plan. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably wait on that. Let's see, how much money are we looking at here for those exports? Not bad, 960. So that does give me enough to grab another one of these guys, which I'm totally going to do and prioritize. And then in terms of these... So overloaded, remove electrical items or add more green energy sources. Okay. The green energy should start picking up, though, now that it's daytime, right? That, that, so all switch on. That gave us power. We've got solar going as well. So we should be fine. I think. I would hope. I guess we'll find out. Um, I also can't help but notice these tomatoes have still not been moved. Can I just sell them? If I just go to here and I just go to sell object. Can I just do that? That got me 3000 That got me $3,000. Good lord. Alright, well, let me prioritize everything in the farms right now, because that seems like a fantastic idea. And in terms of other revenue right now, uh, I do need to tear down some trees. That is definitely something I need to do. Uh, let me prioritize... God, what's the best way to do this? Uh, can I move... How do I... So, solar panels, right? I want to move them. Because what I think I can do with them is if I put them there, and I go and I grab that solar panel, and I move it to... How many of these do I have? Only three, I think. Uh, if I move it to there... So, that one's moving... And then that solar panel can sort of move to here. And I think I can probably afford another one, right? They're, they're $2,000. Uh, so we'll do that. And we'll also prioritize getting those installed. So that'll be kind of beautiful. Got some prisoners as well, which is lovely news. Uh, but the prison is ever so slightly out of power right now. Which is less than lovely news. Uh, can I move these wind turbines down here as well so what would be the best way to do this i guess there for one uh let's move you to there for two we'll move you to there for three and you to there for four and then the water pumping station i kind of want to move it as well it can move to there's no middle spot there that's a pain so the water pumping station can kind of just move to uh that corner, I guess. So let's prioritize just all of that, please. Um, let's move this power export meter to that spot. 
seems like a pretty good idea. And then I essentially want to go to objects and I want to go to... I should have really just dismantled these, shouldn't I? Um, we'll dismantle these guys. Oh, wait, no, it's utilities. Uh, sell utility? Can I sell these? No, okay. Uh, so we'll dismantle all of these is essentially what we're going to do. Uh, we'll dismantle kind of all of this too. And uh, that'll neaten things up a little bit. We'll also dismantle those pipes. So everything is currently ever so slightly disconnected, which is not ideal, but that's fine. Uh, you are going to be connected to you. And then I should be really easily able to do something like this. And that should reconnect the power across the uh, the entire prison. And that should be more power than we had previously as well, which would be lovely. I'm also going to do this for the sake of uh, symmetry there. So we'll get that done. In terms of water, I mean... I guess it's a simple case of doing something like this. So we'll just prioritize all of that too. Bit of a fight going on there, but I'm sure nobody's going to... No one's going to die today, right? Never mind. Never mind. All right. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> Every guard that's available down here, please. Okay, four deaths. Good. This is this is going swimmingly. Um, you know what I think we need to do? I'm glad I've got this area down here because I think I think planning and uh, walls. Take this out for a second. Take this out for a second um this is all fine is what this is but we're then gonna change things up a little bit i we will keep sort of the visitor entrance thing uh in sort of uh, relatively in this area so we'll do this and this down to here and sort of like that right so that'll be that'll be the visitor kind of way in uh, this bit of planning is going to go away, and we are going to have a... I don't know what necessarily is going to be down here, but whatever. Um, this space is going to be an armory. Um, this space is going to be a security room. That seems like it might be a good idea, uh, to be completely honest. I, I feel like we're at about the point where we probably need it. So, uh, maybe we'll expand this a little bit, just make it kind of a weird sort of shape or something like that, just to put a little bit of style in here. So, a door there and a door there. So, security, uh, armory, or no, other way around. Armory, security. We're going to start trying to automate the doors, and we're going to start trying to, uh, <laughs> stop people from getting killed. So, armory is important for body armor and tasers. That's kind of my goal. Uh, now, speaking of body armor and tasers, we do need a program for that. But we'll deal with that later. Uh, foundation education program. Let's start that. Let's also... What is this? So this is doctor in an infirmary. It's treatment of drug addiction. Okay. Uh... Let's start that. Parole hearings eventually. Solar panel development, no. Farm work safety is farmer in classroom, sure. And let's have a look at our schedule. So, let's do. Hmm. Let's move you to that classroom. And let's move farm work safety to sort of the evening. I'm going to try and not overlap those. Uh,. So, two different classrooms. Uh, this can be here. Actually, no, this can be here. And flower therapy can be there. And that's kind of fine by me. Uh, so, that'll work out a little bit. It does mean that we need guards in the flower garden, which I think they are, and in the infirmary. So, st uh, deployment and guards in the infirmary for sure. And uh, that'll, well, maybe not that many. Uh, but that'll be fine. So that'll keep us relatively decent there. I'm also going to just assign one to the pantry during the day. Because right now I'm just curious to see if there's even anything in there. Uh, there's wood. Okay. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can actually put in a pantry. Pantry doesn't really seem to be working either. Which is 
Lovely. But, well, we have a pantry, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. Uh, let's go to doors, and let's just put a regular sort of staff door on the, uh, the pantry there. So, I think visitation is about the next thing that we really need. And unfortunately, we don't really have the money for it. So, best thing we can do is probably get some wood out to exports. Uh, and the water is still a problem as well. Uh, why is water still an issue? Because it's not been connected yet. And now it has been. So water shouldn't be a problem anymore. But it is. Why is water still a problem? This doesn't have power. Does it? Why doesn't this have power? I thought I connected it. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, that needs moved. Okay, uh, move you to... I can't afford to move you, can I? Uh, no. Can I take a loan? Is is that a... Is, I mean, hold on a minute. We've probably got some exports, right? We've probably got some things we can move to export. I don't want to have to chop down some just random trees right now. Have we got anything? No, we got nothing. Why are the guards cleaning my exports area? Um, okay. I really don't want to have to cheese this right now. We do have 10 prisoners coming in in a little while. Um, that would be useful, I suppose. I guess we wait. I don't I don't want to cheese it. I really don't want to cheese it. So I think we're just going to wait for the... Uh, what the hell, man? Good Lord. All right. You know, you know we, what we can do, I suppose is go to sell objects and sell those and sell those and then do i have enough money to move you no how much does it cost to move wait <gasps> oh i have to just put it up there oh, well i can do that um yeah let's do that just move the thing that's the reason it's uh it's not working so just do uh we'll put it there uh, we can dismantle nothing. We'll just leave it be. Uh, so that's going to be installed in that spot. Then power just needs to go like this. Because it wasn't going through the transformer originally. That's why water was being weird. Uh, so we'll just prioritize. Oh, God, no. Uh, prioritize all of that. And then that'll give us water to the prison again, which is hopefully going to stop people from being super grumpy and angry and whatnot. Uh, there we go. So water is flowing. Beautiful. Okay. So that puts us in a decent spot. We get $5,000 coming in in the morning. Uh, we can then start putting that money towards building this new area here, which means uh, visitation is just around the corner. It means that this grant right here is just around the corner, which means that this grant right here is hopefully just around the corner as well. So we got some money uh, due. And I'm also pretty sure we have a third grant we can take right now. Uh, so... Can we, do, can we can we do this? So what else do I need to do? I need another farmer. I need more bi- Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we need another farm worker. Can I afford another farmer right now? I get the feeling that I can. Alright, so... Uh, farmer... So that's five of those. We need to purchase 10 bags of compost fertilizer. Oh boy. What am I getting myself into here? Uh, so compost fertilizer, 10 bags of that. Okay. Um, so if I just go, can I not do it here? Cause I can't see in there right now. I guess that's probably the reason. All right, um, I need some guards over to this field because I can't see it right now. All right, objects, uh, compost, fertilizer. So if I do this, that's 200, 300, 400. How much is this? All right, let's do that. So that's my 10 bags of compost fertilizer. And then we got harvest 50 farm plants of any kind, sell 50 grown crops of any kind. All right. We can do that. We can absolutely do that. I'm enjoying this, though. I gotta say, despite the fact that about 100 people died today, I think things are going pretty damn well. I also like that I can assign fertilizer per room so that I don't have to manually do it. But at the same time, 
that seems like a really easy way to run out of money really fast when you're in a situation like me. And by situation like me, I mean uh, when you're terrible at the game. 